Hello Frontiersmen, I'm going to quickly show you how to get more villagers. If this video helps you, please like it, leave a silly comment for the algorithm, and don't subscribe to me. Alright, first I'm going to talk about birth rates. Alright, so we're going to go in here in the village ha villagers happiness and we can see the birth rate is nice and high at 96%. Now, the one thing that you got to make sure is that you have enough empty houses for your kind of adolescent... Um, or adolescent or just become adult um, sims or civil, uh, I guess civilizations or what's it called? Ah, civilians, that's the word I'm looking for. Make sure they have a place to move into so they can start having children. Um, you can see that I have 200, nearly 200 slots left of open area, but that doesn't mean that they have places to move into. What you need to do is you need to start clicking on some houses and see if you can find any empty ones. So as I go through to some of my least populated areas, and I'm going to check and see if there's any houses that are empty, and I'm finding that that's just not the case. There's nowhere that is empty. So where are your, are your guys going to move into? All right, so they need to have a place to live. So even though I have all this extra space, it means that there's no houses for them to move into anyway. So we got to go ahead and make some more shelters and just plop them down. I'm just plopping them randomly right now just to show you. And then when when they're done building, then most likely they check them when they're done building. And if somebody moves in right away, it means that you have you're missing out on opportunities of your characters to be making more babies. And if you build one and nobody moves in, then you then you know that you've reached your peak and you have lots of housing and there's nothing to really worry about. Now also keep in mind if they're moving in, if nobody's moving in, it also could be that there's no jobs in the area. Okay, so sometimes you'll, you, you gotta make sure to kind of fit these houses into already populated areas if you can, or places you know there's jobs in the area. I know that I, I know there's always jobs in this area because I got lots of mines pretty close by. So anytime I plop a house down here, if nobody moves in, I already know that them, I must be okay. So that's it. That's how you get your birth rate up. Now let's quickly talk about immigration. Now immigration is pretty easy to understand. It's just once you have over six months of food, available that's what gives you the maximum amount of immigration which is shown right here at 99 i don't know why it doesn't go to 100 it always sits at 99 for me now so that's basically it for immigration there's not much else to really say about it just make sure you get that food stores over six months to get that maximum immigration bonus and then bring it in and then again i and, and again i don't think it has anything to do with housing when it comes to immigration which is kind of strange you think there would have to be empty houses but I've read a lot online that the housing doesn't seem to matter at all. Maybe they find their ways into the empty slots that are already kind of open for them. All right. So that's that's it. That's how you get more villagers. If this video helped you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for the algorithm and don't subscribe to me.